Hey everybody, this is Sam Klanenberg and you're watching djsounds.com. Another tough day at the office, I think. <laughs> you know, I mean, some people think it's easy. It's not. Look at us. I know. It's, it's, it's very warm here. It's and hot. It's although, like... although this pool might look really comfortable, it's it's, it's not at all. It's, I mean, it's... We're having to wait for the cocktails to come. And that's two gauges. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's not it's not all fun and relaxing. Nah, not at all. <laughs> How are you, Sam? How's it going this summer? Well, at the moment, I'm really nice. I'm really chilled out. Um, Summer's hectic, really hectic. I mean, this looks amazing, but this is the art two days off in Ibiza. And the rest of it is five, six days in a row, traveling, airplanes, airports, uh, you know. The grueling schedule. Totally. I was on a cab doing 170 kilometers an hour just 24 hours ago, fearing for my life in, in Serbia. Where was that? In, in Serbia. Serbia, yeah, yeah. A speeding Serbian taxi. Oh, okay, Jesus. that sounds scary. Yeah, no, you know, I mean, you know, it's 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 it's, it's ups and downs. It, it, you know, some some of it is amazing. I mean, if you if you get to the gigs, you do the gigs. That's the reward. That's where you go. Yeah, this is what it's all about. You know, when you uh, when you're delayed six hours like yesterday to try and get off an air, airport in in Serbia to go back to your family and everything, you realize, oh, I got a 24 hour 24 hour delay. Then then that's the the, the the less brilliant side of it. But you know, all in all, I'm, I'm definitely not complaining. You know, it's been it's been a great summer. Friday nights at Pasha has been, I mean, it's been a dream come true. Really. Well, the thing is, the Friday night is such an institution, you know, it was Ministry of Sound before Pete came on board and it turned into Pure Pasha and Pete was obviously the, you know, the main guy doing it and uh, they had some enormous guests. I remember David Guetta just being the guest on Fridays and, and Bob Sinclair and the Swedes and you know, all the people that now got their own nights and their own thing going. So to try and give it direction that has identity has not been easy and I think there's lots of rooms for improvement. Uh, some people have worked really, really well on the Friday as a guest um, and others not so much, but uh, but overall, we, we have a really clear vision on where we want to be next year and, and how we're going to get there. What about your home setup, your DJ setup at home? because you like to have your home comfort, so... Well, here in Ibiza, listen, the laptop obviously has turned into uh, quite the, um, the travelling studio and the, and the home away of home that you can take anywhere. So, 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 so I should say that that's, you know, that's 70% of it. But when I'm here, I, I take my... I have a pair of speakers here that, that work really nicely. I've got a little setup, a mixing desk, you know, i got my video stuff here, and, you know, it's... it's yeah, you, you, I mean, I'm working on an album, and to say that that, that work continues here is, 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 is not true. I mean, I love to have a studio, and I have a great studio, and I love going to a studio purposely to, to work there. And although you can compress all the technology into a laptop and basically, you know, essentially do it anywhere in the world, I love being locked up in a room with a bunch of creative people and do something amazing, you know. And, and, and so, so that's hard to, to find here, but when it comes to edits and when it comes to you know, trying different things and, 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 and you know, preparing your sets. It's, it's all I need is, is, is here and there. We got work to do. So do 
you have an SVM to kind of work out your visual sets? Well, ev everywhere we go around the world, we, uh, me and Mark, bring an SVM and we bring the DVJs. Uh, luckily, I mean, when we started this five years ago, and no one obviously, well, not obviously, but no one had this, especially when you 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 go somewhere a bit more off the beaten track and. Yeah, you, th th there was nothing like it, so we had to bring everything. But there's something comfortable about bringing your own setup. You know, you know the settings, and you, you know how it works, and you, you know. So, 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 yeah, we we uh, we bring everything everywhere, and sometimes that's a bit of a bit of an issue. But mostly, uh, we're, we're, you know, we're we're very happy with that. And how did people react when you get to places where they don't have so much equipment? You know, like these out of the way places, and you show up with this. This monster of a machine, the SVM and the DVJs, you know, how do they... Oh, yeah, well, the SVM always gets the, oh, you know, yeah. especially the sort of the local, the local technician that hadn't yeah. seen it before. So, like, oh, so what does it do? And you, you know, it's, it's, it, once you work it and you, 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 you let your fingers do the, the, do the talking, then, you know, it gets a bit of a reaction, doesn't it? Because it's, you know, it's, it's, it's quite high tech, I guess, you know, flipping through all the possibilities. Uh, but, you know, slowly, most people have seen it now and, um, and know what it can and cannot do. And... A lot of people are also like, yeah, well, five years ago, I didn't really understand what you're trying to do with this, but now slowly it's, it makes so much sense. And I'm, I'm a bit proud of that, to be yeah. honest. It's like, not to say that I didn't just jump on, onto a, to an opportunity and, and thought, hey, this is a great way of expressing myself in a new way. Uh, but it took a bit of guts as well, because, I mean, it, I, I guess I, I invested loads of time in, into developing it um, from my end, and it cost a bit, you know, not going to lie, it cost a bit of money, and my career maybe also took a few steps back to go forward and uh, but it's, it's 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 good to see now slowly it's like oh it's yeah no no now i understand you know <laughs> it's nicely coming together and i jump to to an opportunity that's working well for me and, and it's not like i think this technique should take over the world and everybody should be doing it but for me it makes total sense cool and how does it go down in pasha as well you yeah, well, there you go. That's, that's one of those. I mean, I was at Exit last Sunday, which is an amazing uh, festival annually, and it's just, they had a bit of a celebration because it's 10 years of Exit. And they had amazing, I mean, it's, you know, I, we're, we're main stage at this dance stage, Darren Emerson, me, back to back, giant LED screens. I mean, it makes total sense, you know. It's like you, you drop those, those, those custom made visuals and it just, boom, you know, it's not only audioly but you, you make you just you, let's say you just make it a bit larger than life and that's nice people want that experience so it works really really well there pasha i mean it's a models and bottles club isn't it i love being part of it it's sexy it's it's it's, it's glamorous you know it's it's that housewife from oxford having the night of their life next <laughs> next to kate Moss having a bottle of crystal and yeah. amazing i love that aspect of that club Visually, I mean, let's be honest, they're not going to, I mean, if they would put giant screens in there, it would look a little weird, you know, it's just not that type of club, and that's cool, I like that balance. So uh, they have a, a bunch of great uh, plasmas in there, and it works, and it's cool, but honestly, when it really, really makes sense, it's, like I said, when you're on that main stage, and boom, you've got too. those screens around you, and some other clubs as well, I mean, Avalon in Los Angeles, where, where I have a residency a couple of times a year, ago there, and... It just totally makes sense. Anyone go to YouTube and, and Google Avalon and Santa Klanenberg, and he, he or she will agree. Yeah, yeah, that makes that makes sense because right. you got that stage uh, presence. You know, you have a mm -hmm. stage from which you you know you know you you you, 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 you serve your audience, and, and Pasha is not so much like that. It's it's you're more the preacher up in the and then that's how that's how it is.